Hi, welcome to Edufulness channel. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand one real time scenario. So that we are going to develop in the SQL SQL server. So that is slowly changing dimension type one. So that is SCD type one. So before going to see what is SCD type one, please like subscribe and share the video. Okay, now let us see, let us try to understand first of all, what is SCD type one, then how we are going to implement in the SQL. Let us try to understand this meaning is first of all, override the changes actually. So you are going to override the, uh, if a values are existed in the current table, then you are going to override. If it is new data, you are inserting. So that's what's the meaning. So let us try to understand this with a simple example. Assume that this is employee table. So in this employee table, we have four records. So that is what the existing data is this one. Now you are going to get a new data. So this you need to match with this one actually. So in this, if you observe one or two employee ID with employee ID, if you compare one or two here also exist in the existing data and one or three is also exist. So that's what here. So for these two records, you need to perform update operation actually. And one or five is the new record that you need to insert here as a new record. So this is what uh, match you are performing. That means overwriting the existing values. If not exist, then only you are going to insert into the data actually, insert into the existing data. So that's what these two records are inserted. That's why salary is uh, updated with the 7,000, earlier it is 4,000. So that's what you can observe here. Similarly, for the one or three, department number is changed. So that's what here it is changed from 10 to 20 it is changed. So the same thing let us try to observe in the SQL server actually practically. So for that what I am doing is I'm going to take create a temp table dbo dot. So I'm going to take a this is a existing data. So that's what I'm going to create this table. So execute. So this particular table is created. So whatever data here we have. So the same structure table we creating here. So EMP number, E name, salary, DEPT number. So same thing here, EMP ID, name, salary, DEPT number. And this data, so we don't have any data in this table. So let us try to insert these four records actually. So for that, we already have a script. I'm just running that script. So these four records I'm just inserting. So let us try to execute. So four rows are affected. Now, if you try to uh, display the data, you have four records in the table. So that's what. So actual existing table data part is completed. Now, how we are doing is this incoming data, we are going to place in a schema called STG, then employee table. Okay. This we are going to take as a DBO dot employee table. So this is what the target table and this is the source actually. So from here to here, we need to perform merge operation. So from here to here, you need to perform. So that's what you see is diff we are differentiating both the tables with the schema. This is staging table and this is actual table. So that's what this it is a target table and it is a source. So that's what actually, first of all, we need to create a schema for this particular staging table that is the STJ I'm going to take as a schema name. So schema is created. Now under this schema, we are going to create a employee table. Table name is same, but the schema is different. So that's what this table is also created. And I'm going to take a incoming data or new data. So whatever here we have in the slide, same thing we are going to take here. So execute that. So three rows are there now in the table actually. So first of all, let us just observe the data in these two tables. So in the DBO table, DBO table of employee, four records, and uh, this new table that is staging table have three records. And here you, you can observe that employee one or two, salary 4,000, and in the new data, salary 7,000. You need to update with the 7,000. Similarly, for the one or three, department number is 10, and for here, one or three department number is 20. So his department is changed now. 
So currently it should reflect in the actual table. That's what it's meaning. So now how these changes you are merging in this table actually as per SAD type 1. So that's what actually we are going to call a concept called merge operation. By using merge, you can perform this particular operation actually. So try to understand here how merge is going to work. After immediately the merge, you should mention the target table. So that's what this one. By default, after merge, whoever is there, that means table name, that table is going to become the target table. That means into this table, that means into this table, you are going to merge the data. So we just take any alias name, whether you take it or not, not a problem. And using what? Using which particular? That means it is a source. So that's what this is the incoming data or new data. So which you need to match with existing one. So that's what always after using whatever table is there, that is going to become a source table actually. Then basing on which condition you want to perform merge operation. So that's what in the both the tables you have a employee number and here also employee number. So whenever match is occurred, that's what uh, employee number if same name, same is there in the both, that means you need to update. So that's what here you can see whenever same, that means whenever match is occurred, that's what the match syntax when matched. That means when this condition is true for those records, what you need to perform under the match we are going to define. When there is no match, what we need to perform? Under not matched section, you are defined. So under matched section, what we are doing, because match is occurred means it is the existing data, you are updating ename, salary, DEPT number in the target table by default. Match is automatically going to take the columns, whatever you mention, those are from the target table only. And what values you need to copy from the source, from this table. So that's what ename from here to here, salary from here to here, it is going to update. And then when it is not matched, that means, for example, 105, there is no match. 105 not exist in this uh, uh, target table. That means not matched. So that record you need to insert completely, right? So that's what we are doing. EMP number, ename, salary, DEPT number, we are inserting from the source table actually. So all the columns you are just inserting. So this is what SCD type 1 query in SQL. So if I try to run this one, then you can observe the changes actually. See three rows are affected. Let us try to observe that. So if I show you both the tables, now earlier dbo.employee table, which is target actually, this is the target, right? So which is target and this is the source so in the target uh, in the target table we have only four records now we have five records and observe that for the one or two and for one or two here for our one or two data seven thousand it is updated with the seven thousand earlier it is four thousand only and for one or three it is a department number 20 now one or three department number is 20 so we can see that and one or five record is inserted into the target table. So this is called SAD type 1. If data is existed already, you are updating simply. If data not existed, you are inserting that those rows actually. So that is what slowly changing dimension 1. But what is the drawback in this is simple thing. Uh, one or two Krishna's salary is changed from 4,000 to 7,000. Suppose if I want to know what is the previous salary, you are unable to fetch it. So that's what you can see by seeing this record one or two, I am unable to tell his previous salary how much. So that means history, you cannot get it actually. So that's what disadvantage of SAD type 1 is all history is lost. By applying this methodology, it is not possible to track, trace back in the history. So when it is recommended to use SAD type 1, if you are not going to use your previous history, you are not at all required, then go for the SAD type 1. 
okay so this is one of the very regular requirement in the real time so try to understand and practice it thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share the video